All right, guys, so the uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S uh, is now two years of age. So we're in uh, mid-April 2023. And uh, although the body is slick and the paint is glossy, the uh, PPF on the lower sides of the uh, rear arches here has taken its toll, even if the car only has less than 12,000 kilometers or 7,500 miles. So this here, let me show you a, uh, a closer video of what this looks like. So this is the OEM PPF that came with my vehicle. Uh, it has exactly two years now, uh, 12,000 kilometers or 7,500 miles. So not that much mileage in those two years. And as you can tell, the rest of the paintwork glass smooth. Listen to the sound. See that sound paper like here? Nothing in here. Yeah, it's been eaten up and beaten up by stones and rock chips and all that stuff. So we're gonna see the difference when we remove this and apply a higher quality PPF. But yeah, look at that up close. I think it's pretty obvious to see all that. And the vehicle has just been washed by the way. So this is what it looks like. Still has the winter wheels and tires, almost ready for the change up now. We're mid April. And so what we're gonna do now is I have my guy, Martin from Martint. So he installed um, some Expel window tinting on my house windows, believe it or not. So to help with uh, infrared rejection and heat rejection. So it's awesome for the summer months. So now we're gonna remove that PPF. As you can tell, 911s have wide hips and the uh, Turbo S uh, even wider than the standard 911. So they take the brunt of these stone chips and rock chips. So now he's gonna heat the PPF to remove the old one. And from the factory, I'm being told that these are not the best. My viewers who have 911s told me, Pan, you're, this is one thing you're gonna have to change quite often. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what the PPF looks like from the factory once we uh, remove it. And we're gonna have some brand new Expel installed. So he's using a heat gun to remove the old one. So it seems to be coming off pretty easily. And once that's done, later today, I'm gonna to apply a ceramic coating. And of course, you're gonna see what product I'm gonna use and how to do all that. So yeah, that came out nicely. You can see all the stone chips in there. Oh my God. So yeah, that's needed. And that is it. So now he's going to clean and degrease the surface to make sure the new PPF bonds properly on there. So now it appears super glossy again, like the rest of the paintwork, because that damaged PPF. If we have a closer look here, it even started to yellow from what I can tell. So this is the factory tint, but look at the factory PPF. I mean, look at that. Now it's quite obvious. So this was preventing proper reflection and gloss, right? Look at that. All right. And the new PPF was laser cut using the uh, pre-selected models available for my specific vehicle. So I guess that's a soapy solution to have a bit of lubrication. And there's 
the pre-cut template. It's always nice to see experts at work. How many years of experience in the business, Marte? 30. 30 years, guys. I love people with experience. You can tell this is not his first rodeo. <laughs> So now he's aligning it to make sure it's exactly as it came from the factory. I can already tell if you look at the gloss levels, here they are restored back again. And of course, we're gonna add some hydrophobic properties, more, even more UV protection on there with the ceramic coating and give it the self-cleaning properties to make it easier to clean during maintenance washes. You know how we roll on the pan, the organizer channel. So if you're a 911 owner, or if you have any other vehicle, he was telling me about uh, some Jeep Wranglers with the wider hips that need this type of PPF anywhere where you can get a lot of stone chip impact. This is what PPF is for. So he's removing all the uh, air bubbles and making sure it's gonna bond properly to the paint. I can't even tell that it's there right now. That's how glossy that is. And this is Expel, right, uh, Martin? Yes. Yeah. Expel Ultimate. Expel Ultimate. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And that's it. So, <laughs> what that took like five minutes. Look at that, guys. You can't even tell that it's there. And now, super glossy, just like the rest of the paintwork. Wow. I can barely tell where the line is. That is gorgeous. All right. So the rest will be to apply the ceramic coating. All right, guys. So the uh, Expel Ultimate PPF was applied on the rear arch section of my Porsche. So this here is the cutout. So we're going to protect it with a ceramic coating. There are many coatings that you can apply, including some paint coatings that you could uh, use for PPF as well. But today we're going to use PPF specific ceramic coating. So this is CarPro Skin. Uh, there's also G Technic Halo that I really like, uh, Gion PPF Evo. So those are three coatings that are made specifically for PPF and vinyl wraps. Uh, the CarPro Skin here is good for glossy surfaces or even matte or vinyl uh, PPF or wraps. So no problems with that. Uh, it has UVA and UVB blockers. So a stronger concentration uh, inside there of UV protection for your PPF. Uh, typically, the uh, PPF coatings last anywhere from one to two years, depending on your conditions and maintenance. And they're quite simple to apply. I have a full PPF application tutorial. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it linked in the description under the video. Quick disclaimer, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just showing you the uh, tips and tricks. And I'll leave the links to all the tools, equipment, and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So first uh, thing that we need to do is Degrease the surface, although it was already cleaned by the installer, we want to make sure. So we're going to use an IPA, isopropyl alcohol mix, or in this case, a paint prep spray. So this is ready to use. This is CarPro Eraser. I usually recommend that you use the same paint prep as the coating brand to make sure you have uh, proper chemical compatibility. So we're going to spray that on there. And this is going to help further degrease the PPF. Of course, the vehicle was washed beforehand. And this is made to ensure a proper bonding of the coating on the PPF itself. So the same as you would do for regular paint. So now that this is done, we're going to take the bottle itself. Uh, by the way, CarPro states that unopened, uh, this is good for 12 to 14 months, assuming that it's not frozen and you keep it in stable conditions. And once the bottle is opened, uh, you'd have to use it within six months of opening the bottle. So typically for coatings, uh, a few months is what you get once the bottle is cracked because curing starts as soon as there's con contact with uh, oxygen, right? So we're going to make sure that we properly mix this up. And there we go. So we're going to take 
an applicator block that we have here, like you would for typical ceramic coatings. It comes in the kit and you put the micro suede applicator on top. We are going to prime the surface. There we go. And then in a crisscross pattern, so movements of up and down and left to right, you apply it on the PPF and they say to wait roughly two to three minutes once you applied it to see the rainbowing effect. So that's that color change that we're going to get. And after that time has gone, we are going to level with two microfiber towels. So the first towel to level the coating, make sure you don't get any high spots. And the second towel for the final buff, you inspect your work. We're going to let it cure for roughly, um, uh, once the first layer is done, we're going to let it cure for four hours and they recommend a second layer. So we're going to apply it and we're going to let it cure for four hours, apply a second layer. And once that second layer is on top, we're going to let the uh, coating cure for 24 hours without exposing the vehicle to any water or rain. And also keep in mind, uh, wait one week before you wash your vehicle or apply any chemicals on top because the coating continues to cure during that period. Uh, CarPro recommends three to five days without washing, but just to be on the safe side, seven to 14 days is actually the best. So let it be, don't wash the vehicle. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it. So now we're gonna wait that two to three minutes for the uh, coating to flash on there. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but of course flashing, so that rainbowing effect, the color change, this is a visual indicator that it's time to start leveling the coating. That also depends on the temperatures. So currently I'm working in a controlled environment in my garage. So we're at uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius and a cool and steady 45% humidity. So we're in optimal conditions right now. Uh, the colder it gets, the longer the flash time and the more humid or the more hot it gets, the shorter the flash time. So if you work in a very hot and humid environment, uh, the flashing is gonna happen a lot quicker. So you're gonna wanna start uh, observing what that is to uh, level the coating itself. All right, so it's been two to three minutes now. The uh, coating has started to rainbow. It's a bit of a darker color, so I'm not sure if you can see that uh, on camera, but now it's a visual indicator. It's time to start, start to uh, level. So here is the Rag Company Pearl Weave microfiber towel. That's what I like to use for the initial wipe. It shouldn't feel too tacky on removal. So that's when you know you're doing the right thing. So this is gliding effortlessly. So there we go. That's for the initial wipe. Always use a two towel method for wiping your ceramic coatings. So when you hear buffing, that's not actually the correct term with the first towel. It's you're leveling the coating. Leveling, meaning you're flattening everything out to make sure you're not getting any dark spots. Those are called high spots because once those cure, it's a mess. The only way to remove those if left unattended is by machine polishing. And then you're gonna take a second clean and dry microfiber towel. And this is where you're doing the final buff to make sure you catch any potential leftover residue. Go over the surface and there you go. This is super slick to the touch. I always recommend that you use an inspection light uh, this is a scan grip inspection light. So we turn that on and you're looking for any of those high spots or streaks that you could have potentially left behind and it's time to wipe. So always inspect your work. This is quite perfect and it looks amazing. So all that's left now is to let this uh, sit there for roughly four hours. We're going to apply a second layer. And once the second layer is applied and removed uh, and leveled, I should say, uh, we're going to let it fully cure for at least 24 hours, no exposure to water or rain once again, and a full week or two without washing the vehicle. And that's it. We have new PPF. It's ceramic coated, protected against the elements, against the UVA, UVB sun rays. Uh, also, uh, the hydrophobic properties make the uh, surface and the self-cleaning properties a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes, and they're going to reject uh, grime, dirt, and all that stuff a lot easier. And once again, it just looks awesome. Gives that nice, warm, glossy look 
it is already very slick to the touch but it's going to get slicker as the days go by so this is the final result guys i think you can clearly tell it's nice and glossy and there you go so just like the regular paintwork see how soft this is now we go on the ppf and this is super soft it glides none of that sandpaper like texture anymore so if we can have a quick look at the before where you see a lot of sandpaper like texture pitted with all the stone chips and rock chips and the after look at that nice and glossy and you can't even tell that there's any ppf now look at that all right guys so i'm filming this 48 hours uh, roughly after the ceramic coating application just to show you the hydrophobic properties of the coating on the ppf itself so have a look So very quick sheeting, tight, right, round water beads, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just some great overall performance. So again, all the tools and products will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. If you want to see the full application of a PPF on a vehicle, I'll link that video in the description as well. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.